What's up, y'all? This is Ty. Happy Friday. I am here to review a movie that you all requested. That's right. And this movie is streaming on the Peacock app. It is called The Pass. And let me tell you how I got to reviewing this. Y'all know I do my Tubi Tuesday movies where I review every Tuesday. I review a movie that airs on the Tubi app, right? So Beautifully T, shout out to Beautifully T, came in there, asked a question. She said, Ty, what do you think about Todd and Candy's new movie? I was like, what movie? Because I, I didn't know they had a new movie out. But I do know that Todd and Candy produce a lot of Broadway shows because I went to one of their Broadway shows and that was the um, piano lesson that starred Samuel L. Jackson and um, John David Washington. It was very good. So I said, okay, they got a movie out. I didn't know they had a movie out. And I said, you know, it's probably going to be good because I do like the plays that they produce. In fact, I want to see The Wiz when that gets revised and comes out because Candy and Todd have something to do with that. So I said, okay, I can check it out. Then my boy Randall Brown, he made a comment. He said, you should review this. He he, he co-signed with uh, Beautifully T. He said, you should review this. Be, uh, he said, you know, check it out. He said, you know, it's like a Tubi movie, but on Peacock. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So here I am reviewing Todd and Candy Presents The Pass. And shout outs to all my lovely subscribers that hold me down in the comment section. Shout outs to all of you. Um, Lamont Simpson, Savannah Rivers, Amore Dupree, Simply Be Yourself 100, and all the rest of you wonderful, lovely people. Just, you know, just got to name a few of you. Um, and of course, Randall Brown and Beautifully T, who the reason why I'm doing this review. Make sure you like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share. Let's keep this channel going and growing. Now, with that being said, we got that out the way. Let's get down to this review of The Past. So it stars Drew Sidora, who I'm told is one of the cast members of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, along with Candy. Candy's also in this movie. And it stars Robert Christopher Raleigh. They are playing husband and wife, Maurice and Nina. Um, Maurice works as a realtor for Nina's mother. Her mother's name is Etta. Etta can't stand him. Etta thinks he's a loser. She thinks he's pathetic. She don't trust him. Business ain't going so well. She throws it in his face every chance she get of what a loser he is. Maurice had a plan of getting Nina a better ring uh, um, a new wedding ring, I should say, by selling this mansion. But guess what happened? Etta snatched that client from up under him because she thinks he's a loser. She doesn't think he's good enough for her daughter. And yeah, and she throws in his face every chance she get. This is my house. I paid for this. I paid for that. See, that pisses me off. So I automatically don't like Etta because listen, let me tell you, I was raised with the God bless the child that's got his own. That's how I was raised. Meaning Get your own. As a man, I have to get my own. I cannot work for my wife's father or mother or anything like that. That ain't happening because they try to control you, as you see here. And I'm not moving into your mother's house. I got to have my own house because we're not having nobody come telling me what I can and cannot do or what I'm not doing or how this is their house. I don't need you throwing stuff in my face because if you're doing either you're doing it from the heart or you're doing it from the ass. You don't do stuff for people and just keep throwing it in their face. So I'm instantly not liking the mom. Instantly not liking the mom. Because I'm like, what is this about? Come on, what is this? But we learn that uh, Nina's father's deceased and the mother just wants the best for her daughter. And that's why she's always, you know, taking pot shots. But it, got, it gets to a point, come on, your daughter's been married to this man for seven years. I mean, come on already. So now they're having, business is not going so great. He's having this work stress. He goes golfing with his friends and his friends tell him, you know, they tell him about, you know, me and my lady, we got this thing called the pass. He's like, what's that? You know, that's when we tip and dip, you know, and the pass is basically like a whole pass, but for relationships, you get to step out on your marriage, sleep with somebody, and you both have to consent to this. You both have to agree to doing this. And, you know, supposed to keep the, the momentum going or whatever. But stuff like that never really works. If you're not order ready in an open marriage, that type of, mm, that type of stuff is not going to work. You need to be already in an open relationship for stuff like that to work, in my opinion. So I said, yeah, this is going to be a mess right here. 
So he decides he's going to bring this past idea over to Nina because he tells her, yeah, you know, such and such. They're doing the same thing. And one of the friends is Candy Burgess. She's in it. She's playing somebody who's participates in the past. So, you know, they have this little casual conversation. Oh, so you do the past? Y'all do the past and all this? And Nina's reluctant at first. She's like, no, I don't really want to do that. But she said, you know what? Okay, but we have certain rules. It can't be someone we know. And you, I think they said something like certain, you can't treat them better than me. You can't, can't be someone we know. You know, stuff like that. And you can't catch feelings and things like that. Now, here's where it gets crazy. Maurice wanted to tip and dip with a, with a um, stripper, but that stripper didn't show up. So he doesn't use his pass, but Nina uses her pass. She uses her pass because she's uh, inter what a interior designer. She works for a design firm or something like that. She goes away on a trip with her boss, who is a woman, and she tips and dips and has an affair with this woman, Tara. But here's the thing. The woman is her husband, Maurice's best friend. Problem right there. You done already broke a rule. You're not supposed to do that. Not supposed to. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I said, that's going to be a problem right there. She catching feelings. Um, she's, It was supposed to be one night. She's saying it's only going to be one night. She doesn't tell Maurice what happened. Um, and she's, and she, um, she told her terror that it must be a one night thing. But when she gets back from L.A., she can't stop thinking about what happened between her and Tara. She even becomes jealous when she sees Tara because Tara, a little freak, Tara is doing it with the assistant and doing all this stuff. And she done caught feelings for this woman and confessed her feelings to her. I was like, and she wants to spend another night with her. And she keeps lying to Maurice. But somehow she's convinced that Maurice is lying to her as well. She think Maurice is seeing some woman. Some woman keeps sending him pictures. He denies it. She finds the pictures. The next thing you know, they're deleted. She gets pissed up. So she decides, you know, when Maurice is out, she sleeps with Tara again. And this time, we see that she finds a condom wrapper that supposedly belongs to Maurice and underwear um, in her bed. But we know that Tara planted that stuff. So as to make Nina upset with Maurice. And it works. She's pissed off. So she's like, we're going to install cameras. But now here's the crazy thing. She installs the cameras and everything. But now Maurice sees that she's been tipping and dipping with Tara. Next, you know, they have a conversation. Next, you know, bam, she's being served with divorce papers. Maurice wants a divorce. Tara is devastated. I mean, not Tara. Nina is devastated. Tara's like, ah, <clears throat> don't worry about it. Don't worry. And I'm like, see, you can't trust her. Something is up. You can't really trust her. So I'm like, see, that boss of yours, she's setting you up. So I was like, something ain't right here. So then we're at the divorce proceedings. And... Nina's trying to explain the whole thing about the past. They had this agreement about the past. And Maurice was like, bro, I don't know what she's talking about, bro. What past? We ain't had no, we ain't do none of that. And this lady, she's saying I'm messing with, that's a lie. But check this out. And he passes the phone over to the judge. Look, look at this right here. And it's apparently Nina in the act cheating. And according to their prenup, you cheat, you got to give up half the dough. That's in the contract, whatever. So now he's taking this money from her and she is so upset. And F you after I did all this for you. And her mother's like, you ain't ish and you ain't never going to be ish. So I was saying, well, wait a minute. You did cheat and you did break the rules. You did cheat. And I mean, yeah, it was. I was suspicious of Maurice for the simple fact. Why are you acting like you didn't know anything about the past? But Nina... You did continue this relationship and you wasn't supposed to do that. So I'm like, uh, you kind of get what you deserve. And her mother was like, I knew you wasn't ish. And then this is when the plot twist happens. Nina goes back to the firm. The whole firm is empty. And we see the whole crew, Maurice, <laughs> Tara, everybody's together 
Turns out they're a crew of scammers. This whole the past thing is a real scam, basically. I said, what in the world? It's basically a scam. They set her up. But my thing was, you took seven years to set this woman up to get her money. So apparently this is a crew that goes around and takes people's um, riches from them. So he was really committed to this, a seven year commitment to get this. So I owe Etta an apology. I, I said, well, I was wrong. The mother did have her reasons for not liking him because he was a scammer to begin with, but the whole crew was a scammer. So that was the twist of this whole thing. And so I thought it was um, interesting. I thought in parts it dragged a little bit, but the ending was clever. The ending was clever for me. But the buildup, it was a little slow for me. I want, you know, I like a little action and foolishness. It wasn't too much of that, but it was all right. It was decent. Tell me your thoughts. What did you think about it? And what do you think about these, this whole having, you shouldn't have no past to begin with. See, if she would have said no to this whole thing, but then again, he was trying to scam her. Either way, he was going to scam her out of her money some way, somehow. But I don't know. What are your thoughts about that, about this movie? How did you feel about this movie? How do you feel about this whole thing of getting a pass in your relationship? My thing is, if you can't commit, if you're not, this is my take on that whole having a pass. If you're both mature and secure enough to do that, then I can say, hey. But if you're not, no. If you're if you're in a, already in an open marriage or open relationship, then that, that, that's what's going to fly. But if you're the type that's old-fashioned and traditional like me, and you want it to just be you and I, don't do that. Don't take no off. Don't try that because I don't think it's going to work. It doesn't work if you're not secure in your stuff. It doesn't work. But here, the whole thing was a scam just to begin with in the first place. So that, that was that. So that's my review. Tell me your thoughts down below. Thank you again, Beautifully T and Randall Brown. Tell me what you thought of this film. Did you like it? Did you think? I thought it was a little, just a teeny boring in some parts, but I did like that, that little clever twist that they put on at the end. I did enjoy that. So that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you when in the next video.